event tree analysis and its procedure. Okay, for this lesson, we will learn about how we can develop our event tree analysis following its procedure. Okay, basically, in event tree analysis, you will identify what is your initiating event, okay, and what is your safety function that have been designed for these initiating events. It meaning that you, you will have your safety function which is related okay, to your initiating event. The next step is you have to identify what is the failure rates for your safety function and after you have all these three information then you can develop or construct your event tree analysis. Okay. After have uh, after you have developed your ETA or event tree analysis, then you can describe the resulting accident event consequence. Okay, so meaning that you can calculate or you can compute the occurrence frequency from the initiating event and following its sequence. Okay, from your initiating events, then what is your safety function safe and uh, uh, safe or success rate? until you have your consequence event okay so basically this is the main or the major information that you need to understand and you need to know okay before you can develop all your event tree analysis for ETA procedure okay it will involve some numerical values okay what is numerical values for ETA or for event tree analysis? The numerical value for events, okay, will help you to determine what is the probability of a certain sequence of events, okay? What is the probability of occurrence for such fault, okay? Then from this probability, it could help you to decide what improvement or what type of modification that are required by that process or by that plan. Okay. So the procedures to calculate the this uh, to calculate these numerical values, okay, first one is you need to understand or you need to know the failure rates for safety function and you write down just below the column headings. Okay, we will look after this, where is the column heading? Okay, then the occurrence frequency for the initiating event is written below the line originating from the initiating event. So, for your uh, initiating event, you have your occurrence frequency. Alright, let me help you to highlight on this matter. Okay, for your initiating event, you will have your occurrence frequency. Okay, remember this term. Okay, Later on, you will look up from your problem statement. What is your initiating event? What is your occurrence frequency? Okay. Then for your safety function or your safety system, okay, you have a failure rate of each of these safety function. So these failure rates will be written below the column headings. Okay. So at the upper branch, usually will represent a successful safety function. Remember the first one, the first example that I have shown you, you always have your success up, okay, at the upper of your uh, safety function, okay. If you have your one of your safety function, then you will rate it as a success and then followed by failure, okay. So the success frequency is equal uh, is equal to one minus the failure rate times the previous frequency. Okay, you need to remember this equation. Okay, success frequency is equal to one minus failure rate times the previous frequency. So for the lower branch, usually it will represent by failure okay because the upper branch will represent success and the lower branch will represent a failure so the failure frequency 
always have been represented by the failure rate times its previous frequency. Meaning that every uh, frequency of your safety function will times your previous frequency. Okay. We will look for the example of this procedure. Okay, this is the example of the procedure for your computation sequence. You have your initiating event, okay, which is, okay, you have your initiating event, where, uh, what is the numerical value accompanying your initiating event, okay, for initiating event, you have your occurrence frequency, usually for occurrence frequency, will have per year, okay, remember, so for this event, okay, this initiating event, you have the occurrence frequency, of 0 0.5 occurrence per year means that this fall or this hazard may be occurred once every two year so it's uh, occurrence or occurrence frequency is 0 0.5 occurrence per year okay then you have your safety function okay this safety function have its Failure rates. Remember, this is your failure rate for this safety function. Okay, let highlight this. This is occurrence rate. Okay, this is your failure rates. Okay, this is your occurrence frequency. Okay, per year is your frequency. And then this is your failure rate. Okay, failure per demand. So this is your first safety function. Then you have your success at the upper and then the failure at the lower branch. Okay, this is your first branch, upper branch. This is success. And then you have your lower branch, have your failure. Okay, so this is success of this safety function. This is the failure branch of this safety function. So you have initiating event, then you have your safety function. You have your initiating event, first one, and then you have your first safety function. Okay? So, you have success and failure branch. So, if you have your second function or second safety function, then you follow through this branch. Okay? Each of this branch will have another second safety function. Okay? Then, it just follow through all these safety or all this branch okay you have your up success branch failure branch success branch failure branch have your rates and so on okay so for your success rate one minus your failure rates times remember you need to times your previous frequency okay so this safety function okay the first safety function have 0 0.495 occurrence per year so this is your frequency for this safety function okay if you have your second safety function this safety or uh, this failure rate okay need to be times with this one okay not the previous one okay you need to times with this frequency okay so it will follow through all the frequency will be multiplied by the remaining failure rates okay success or failure success or failure rate okay so you have your this is your success frequency this is your failure frequency so what does it mean by this success frequency or failure frequency? Okay, so from your ETA, okay, from your event tree analysis, you will have the numbers or the numerical values for the success frequency, meaning 0 0.495 occurrence per year is the success frequency for this first safety function. Okay, so this is the failure frequency for this safety function. Okay.
if you add this success frequency and failure frequency it will go uh, it will equal back to your initiating event frequency okay or occurrence er occurrence frequency okay so this is the example on how you can have your eta procedure and your computational sequence okay after this okay for the next video i will show you how you can calculate okay based on the example case or based on the case study of reactor